don't need a return ticket where you're going. This is a one-way journey. Sorry, Donald! Boys and girls, and welcome to the Games Master Beach Special. The surf is up, the fun is beaming down, and all around we can see concrete proof that nobody ever looks cool in sunglasses. So slap on some of that factor 40, lest you be burned by what's in store today. We have our first challenge, so let's go over to Games Master. Yo, dudes. The first challenge of our Christmas Beach Special is the frenzied frisbee game, Wind Jammers on the Neo Geo. Our celebrated contestants have three rounds to prove their beach bravado as they toss their plastic plates back and forth. Right then, let's party. Well, you know, it wouldn't be a beach party without some top drawer celebs, so please welcome for this first challenge, Kylie Minogue and John Major. <laughs> well, to the show, Kylie. Welcome, John Boy. Okay, Kylie, um, you've changed your image recently. It's a bit more sexy, a bit more sassy. Why is that? Well, I'm showing people I'm more serious these days. Ah. I'm a big girl now. I thought, I kind of suspected that, that was the reason, Kylie. And uh, now, Mr. Major, sir, uh, you haven't changed your image. Why not? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh. Um, I thought the suspicion you might say that. Um, while we dither about some more, uh, we'll take a look at the latest news. With only four days to go, I finally dragged myself off to acquire some Christmas goods. The Super Nintendo Christmas will be dominated by Donkey Kong Country, essentially a platform game. It does import next generation graphics uh, using the Silicon Graphics Machine. However, this doesn't hide the fact that it's actually very dull. While we're on the subject of overrated games, Rise of the Robots, the game that's taken about 40 years to finally get here. I can sum up Rise of the Robots in two words. 70 quid. No thank you. The Super Nintendo Gamer issue, however, for me, Street Racer, half the price of Rise of the Robots, only 35 quid. The game which kicks Super Mario Kart's pants into next week. Earthworm Jim, you cannot beat. Definitely the most imaginative platform game ever written. Puts Donkey Kong to complete shame. Once again, in terms of good value for money, Mega Bomberman, the Mega Drive version of Super Bomberman, 30 quid. Now, that is absolutely brilliant. Again, you can link it up, you can have multiplayer fun, one to four players, and it's rather smart. The big question facing Sega owners this Christmas, do they buy a 32X or not? Well, yes, it is good, but it's only a year until Sega's new Saturn comes out. So, the other thing you ought to bear in mind is don't pay too much attention to things like this, which says 50 quid off 32X software. It's actually five £10 off vouchers. And when you consider there's only three 32X games out, this is a little bit of advertiser's license. There's been a huge boom in PC buying this year. This is probably the ultimate. It comes from LNX. It's got a very compact CPU, but it's got a Pentium chip, 100 megahertz clock speed, 1000 meg hard drive, and 64 meg RAM. It also has an unfeasibly large monitor. All this means it could probably tell you when you needed to change your pants, but at 6,000 pounds, you probably couldn't afford it. As far as the PC is concerned, this is Doom 2. Everybody's heard about it by now. There's no need for me to say anymore. If you haven't got it yet, you are a pillock. But as far as value for money goes this Christmas, it's difficult to beat the X-Wing CD-ROM set. You've got the original X-Wing game, plus the two data discs, Imperial Pursuit and B-Wing, plus even more historical missions to play. All of this for 40 quid, which is excellent value. Now, all this official stuff's very well and good, but if you're an impatient young pup who longs to get their hands on some foreign elements, 
The best thing to do is to visit one of this country's quality import shops like this one. Furthest away from me wearing Ridge Racer pants is the Sony PlayStation costing 750 quid. There's about four games available for it. Closest to me wearing Virtua Fighter flavoured pants we have the Sega Saturn. That weighs in at 600 notes and there's about seven games available. So why are they so expensive? I mean people will be watching this at home, their toes curling at 750 quid, 600 quid. Why is it so much? Well basically um, Sony don't want to launch this product as with Sega in this country so we had to go out ourselves to Japan and go to retail shops in Japan and buy them there. You can't get them in Japan right now, you can't get them anywhere. They sold out in Japan within 24 hours. So um, we, this price has to be as it is. It will drop dramatically over the next three weeks when supply overcomes demand. Right. So, with my Crimbo goods lodged firmly in their bulging sacks, the goblins were lucky enough to get to walk home while I was forced to seek other methods of transport. Right, we're about to play Windjammers with Kylie Minogue and the Right Honourable John Major MP. Commentating beside me wearing nothing but his bandana is Dave Perry. Dave, give Kylie and John some tips for this. Well, the, the biggest tip I can give is the special move. There's a special move the guys can do when, the, just before the frisbee gets them, they hit the A button, they'll flick the frisbee up into the air, they can charge up then, when it comes down, they'll do an extra powerful shot. Okay, let's hope they bear that in mind. Good luck, Kylie. Good luck, Mr. Major. It's a best of three game situation. Off you go. Okay, Kylie's in the red on the left, and Mr. Major is in the blue on the right. It's a fairly uh, average, the dull start here. Oh, no, she's flipped yeah, on that game. She's gone for the special move, now she's oh, flipped it up. Off we go for the second set. John Major must win this. Against Dan will fairly play. Again, John's tactics seem to be just to throw it down the middle. Oh! No, he caught her out. He lost her job. Full sense of security. That was. Right out of the blue. Three to right, the other game. Oh dear, and just when you don't think they can possibly win, the Tories do it again, Dave. It's a landslide. The last oh, point's by. Six five. five. Kylie. It's very close. One point in it, and we're counting down. Six five now, Kylie, with about seven seconds left. Kylie's got the jack. John's gone down the side. Kylie's oh, okay. Mr. Major. Now, uh, Kylie, you, you took the first set, but uh, were you worried at that point? No, I knew I could do it. Yeah, and we're very pleased you did, because, Mr. Major, you weren't terribly popular with that crowd. No, it's just uh, mid-term unpopularity, that's all. Uh, I think that's a, that's a polite way of saying it. Um, and, Mr. Major, uh, you didn't win anything this time at all, because the Golden Joystick winner in this first Christmas challenge is Kylie! Yeah. Yeah. Things are getting just a bit too yule tidy for me, so let's take a break with today's reviews. First up, the game that launched a thousand complaints from dull Salvation Army blokes, Cannon Fodder on the Mega Drive. Cannon Fodder on the Mega Drive is probably one of the best games this year. It's happened me playing it for an absolute age. It's brilliant. It's got loads of bullets in, loads of blood in, and I'm going to say it again, it's got guns in it. You get 72 missions of uh, overhead view battling with military style tactics including uh, driving cars and flying airplanes and helicopters and there's loads to do it's um, very cute also very violent in a sort of cutesy way and uh, highly tactical and strategic if you're using a joypad it's actually all very difficult and annoying to play with a mouse it's an addictive entertaining and fast-paced shoot em up with more than a hint of strategy And now, showing that the 3DO is the console for startlingly original brand new games, Super Street Fighter 2. Here's a surprise. Uh, 3DO's been out for a year, and there's finally a brilliant game for it. 
if they'd released Super Street Fighter X on 3DO the day it was released, um, 3DO would have been installed worldwide. Compared to the coin art, this is really, really good. The graphics are spot on, the music is brilliant, and it all plays with a rather jolly game of Street Fighter. All the super special moves and finishing combos are in here, and basically, if you love Street Fighter, then you will get off on this. The only um, bugbear I have is with the 3DO joypad itself, which is impossible to get to grips with, and pulling off fireballs and dragon punches is much harder than, say, on the SNES joypad. So, somebody bring out a nice uh, joypad or joystick for the 3DO. Now, for home reviewers amongst you, the latest addition to the game line is PC game Big Red Adventure. To download your demo of Big Red Adventure, connect your modem to 081 558 8937. Apart from the cost of the call to London, the service is free, but do remember to get permission from whoever pays the bills. Tonight's second batch of celebrity guests are just putting their presents under the tree. So we'll go up to Games Master and find out what they'll be playing. My second challenge is on the four-player Super Nintendo game, Smash Tennis. Playing in the glorious sunshine of the beach level, our two teams have only one match to secure victory. So they'll have to watch those back ends. New balls, please. And here to play this, please welcome the biggest teen sensations in the history of Britain, Fake Rock! Okay, now I have to point out, in case you think that's lawyers are watching, that you are actually fake that. Of course, unlike our other celebrity guests on the show, who are all real, especially Kylie, um, do you um, genuinely get mistaken for take that when you're around, hanging around? When we're all together like this, we do all yeah. the time. Yeah. So, so you've been mobbed on occasion? Oh, yes, <laughs> yeah? more than once. How about the money side of it? Do you make as much money as, as take that? A fraction, yeah. 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 <laughs> but you're obviously getting well paid for coming on Games Master. Yeah, we'll hope so, anyway. Yeah. All right, while we discuss further the vast amounts of money we pay our guests on this show, we'll take a quick Christmas break. <laughs> Merry Christmas once more. Yes, it's the Guest Master Beach Special. Whew. Uh, we've got Fake That with us tonight. With me in the commentary box, and actually looking more like Kylie than our Kylie did, is Dave Perry. Dave, any tips for the Fake That boys on this? Well, first off, I take offence at that comment. I'm far better endowed than Kylie. But uh, the main Point thing with taken. tennis games is to draw the players into the net and then play cross-court shots. You want to draw them in and play the angles. OK, thank you very much, Dave. Best of luck, boys. We have got Howard and Robbie playing Jason and Mark. It's the best of three games, Jason and Mark to serve. <laughs> That's a good return. It's nice and easy. If you're the little guys in the 
swimsuits, a little like us in the river sticks earlier. They exactly are, exactly. Okay, that's 30 love and oh, that was just been so 30 15 to Jason to Howard and Robbie. It's an interesting kind of moonwalk the guy does there when he's serving just to get across the court. And maybe we'll talk a little bit more about that later in the program. Oh, we've got that double ball. Let's get the ball over the net, lads. Get the ball over the net. Oh, that's a good return. Oh, they they both dived. It should have been. They were caught out. They were on their belly. Quite a good this one actually did. Who is the guy in the headband on the right hand side? He was returning it's everything. It's you. It's you. Is it me? He's got a cut down version. I've sneaked into the game. This is actually match point we're at because uh, Jason and Mark have got match point. They're ready to break Howard and Robbie's cell. Double fault. They've done it. Double fault. They've won it. They're the first to two, which means that Jason and Mark. Jason and Mark, you were the winners. Talk us through. What were some of your strengths then? Well, uh, I think it was just team effort. We, you know, we were in there doing the business and we won. I think, yeah, the words double in fault uh, <laughs> soon, soon became apparent. And uh, let's pass the mic back to, to Gary for a oh, final summing up. Gary, a, an impartial overview of it. Well, I think under my direction, they're always winners. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. But a go to joystick goes to Jason and Mark. <laughs> classic stuff that made Games Master famous in the consultation zone. Hello, and a very Merry Christmas to you, one and all. Who's first to gobble the turkey? Games Master, I've heard that you can change the track on Checkered Flag on the Jaguar. Please enlighten me. No. However, I will be able to darken your view of the entire game. Go to the option screen and highlight the weather option. Now press the following on the numeric joypad. Eight, four, seven, three. This will give you a new option to allow you to race all the tracks at night. That's magic, Games Master. Bring me another. Games Master, my mate says that there's a secret bonus area on Millstone Mayhem level of Donkey Kong Country where he's collected up to 50 bananas. Is he lying? The bonus level you want is actually on the reptile rumble level. Get to the second barrel with DK on, jump into the barrel nearby, and you'll be fired all the way to the secret bonus level with more bananas than saviors. That's enough monkey business for now. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Games Master. Who else didn't pull a cracker? Games Master, can I get a level select for Earthworm Jim on the Mega Drive? You're having trouble with your little worm, are you? Try this. Pause the game and enter this combination of presses. A and left together, then release. B, B, A. A and right together and release. Lastly, B, B, A. Now unpause the game and the programmers appear, followed by a secret cheat menu which features a level select and a couple of other interesting devices for bringing new life to your little Jimmy. I love you, Games Master. I'm off to lie down. I've had enough turkeys for this year already. And before the Yuletide spirit has completely run dry, it's time to go over to Games Master for the final challenge. Our final challenge for this Yuletide summer spectacular is a rather special one the virtual reality game, Buggy Ball. Our superstar challengers must compete, along with two additional computer players, as they attempt to score points by knocking the beach ball out of the pitch as they bash it mercilessly with their buggy. Good luck, and Merry Christmas. Well, as you may have guessed by now, tonight's final two guests are also celebrity guests. Yes, they are. Please welcome Michael Jackson and Macaulay Culkin. Hello, Macaulay. All right. Hello, Michael. Okay. All right, Michael, how's the wife? She's fine, thanks. Good. Uh, now we're going to hear the pitter patter of tiny feet around Neverland. If I get back fast enough, maybe. All right then, thank you, Michael. Macaulay, 
Tell me, what does a young, spoiled, cute-looking American snot-nosed, lovely little brat like you do with all that money? I'll probably spend it on sweets that'll rub my mind and my teeth. Yeah, all right, well, best of luck, Macaulay and Michael. If you'd like to come with me, we'll go over to the games playing area. Give me a round of applause, Michael and Macaulay. <laughs> Michael and Macaulay are getting into their virtual reality chambers. It gives me a second to point out, we've had lots of people phoning up during the show, casting doubt on the trueness of some of our celebrities tonight. Well, I can say, yes, you are correct, that Dave Perry is a Dave Perry imitator. In fact, very lifelike, and he even sounds the same. You've done a great job tonight. Um, but I'd like you to come clean now and give Michael and Macaulay some tips on this game. Um, well, it's um, a computer game, and... Uh, um, <laughs> Uh, I don't know anything about this. Is the better, this is better so. than the real Dave Perry, actually, I think. <laughs> no, well, actually, the, we've given Michael and McCauley the, the slower, heavier cars in this. And although they won't be able to catch their computer, their computer counterparts, they will be able to knock them out of the way far more easily. So aggression could be the key to winning this challenge. Thank you very much, Dave. OK, Michael and McCauley are suited up, ready for action. Best of luck. Whoever has pitched the most balls out of the park will win the challenge. My, there's Michael and McCauley and two computer opponents. Off you go. <laughs> Sorry, I simply can't tolerate games playing of this standard. <sighs> Let's have a feature instead. American audiences are bracing themselves this week as Street Fighter the movie joins the annual beat em up between the big Christmas hits. John Claude Van Damme takes the lead as Colonel Gal battling against the naughty schemes of Bison, played by Raoul Julia, in his last screen role. Most of the original characters from the game have made it on the screen with varying degrees of success. Could most generously be described as straightforward, but with plenty of action. Let's go. And Jean Claude's trademark classy dialogue. I'm going to kick Bison's ass. I don't think so. You have to do better than that. Okay. But of course, the most important thing about the film is that official Fitbird Kylie Minogue is in it. We can all take a peek at her when the movie opens in the States on Friday and over here in mid-1995. for the Games Master Beach Special. We're just settling down for a spot of traditional Christmas dinner. After that, we're gonna go and tell kids everywhere there is no Father Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, dudes.